we're heading into our 30th year. So we've been doing it for quite some time. We've had somewhere in the neighborhood, if you were to go back and look, of about 30,000 plus people that have come here. I truly do believe that our program, between the instructors we have and our staff and the facilities, I believe that we literally have changed and are changing the face of craft. Uh, next year is our 30th anniversary. The blessing of the school is you. You're incredible people. And because of what I believe the philosophy is of this school, giving and sharing, um, next year, I want all of you to consider this. We're gonna do a charity event. And here's the deal. The school's gonna take care of everything. Susie and I will take care of everything. We'll take care of all of your meals. We're gonna take care of uh, the materials that you're gonna get to work with. And you get to make these boxes. These boxes, they're beautiful boxes. The lid has a functioning way to it that's different. There's dovetails in them. There's curved slip mortise antennas in the top. There's veneer work in the top. They're just very well made boxes. And that's what you're gonna make. Now here's the way it's gonna work. We've become good friends with people that are here that have causes. A, a gentleman who's completed his master's here, his name's Bill Rayley. Uh, Bill, anytime there's a tragedy anywhere in the world, he goes. But he's involved with an organization called IDES, IDES. And IDES raises money to help with medical needs anywhere in the world. Um, the, uh, the people who are running the program have spent the last couple of months in Ukraine, but they do food, they do medical, anywhere. And so I wanted to help them through craft. Another one, some of you maybe been here met Buck, who is an intern, who was a special op uh, the last 20 years. And um, doing what he did day in and day out, serving America in the trenches of Afghanistan and everywhere else he's been, um, there are challenges in his life. And one of the things that he has is a service dog. And with that service dog that he brought with him, it's really what saved his life. And so there is an organization put together by vets that doesn't have a whole lot of funding. When I say veterans, I met veterans of the uh, Army and Navy and Air Force and Marines, but, but they put together something to just help themselves. And they don't have a lot of money, but we're gonna do something to help that group. We had Dick Weideman here, and with him, what he is so interested in is, is he's, he's very active in, in uh, rescuing wildlife. Not, not dogs and cats, but other types of wildlife. And he works for an organization that absolutely has no funding at all, but what they do is remarkable. And then we have a gentleman that was here a week ago who, who makes carts for kids that are handicapped. That organization struggles to make ends meet. So these are very special people at the school who I'm very close to. And so what we're doing is we're bringing them together. During the week you get to play and make the box and have great dinners and great breakfasts. It's all going to be provided. Thursday night, each one of those organizations is going to have 10 minutes to get in front of everybody that's there and explain why you should donate the rest of your $450 to them, $475 to them. By Friday morning, you will have an opportunity to make a call on where the rest of your money will go. Now, it might be for one of those four, and I hope it is, but maybe you've got another uh, organization that you want to send it to. I don't care. It's about giving, and that's who people are. Now, I can only take so many people because we don't have room, but I really do want you to consider being here that week. It'll be fun, it'll be good food, there'll be a lot of activity and a lot of, uh, a lot of just things that are going to go on that are just going to kick off our 30 year in the best way we can possibly kick it off.